co-founder and member of the rock band The Beach Boys, Michael Edward Love was born on the 15th of March, 1941 in Baldwin Hills, Los Angeles, California in the United States, and is a musician, singer, and songwriter, undoubtedly best known for being with the band for more than 50 years of its existence, during which they released many albums from Surf and Safari in 1962 to their live concert album in 2015. His career has been active since 1961. So, have you ever wondered how rich is Mike Love? Celebrity.money estimates that Mike counts his total net worth at the impressive amount of $90 million as of early 2017, with the main source being, of course, his career as a musician. His net worth will likely be increased by sales of his book, Good Vibrations, My Life as a Beach Boy, published in 2016. Mike Love was the eldest of six children to Emily Wilson and Edward Milton Love. He went to Dorsey High School, from which he matriculated in 1959. From childhood, he was interested in music as he performed with his uncle Murray Wilson, a songwriter, and his three Wilson cousins at family parties. Upon graduation, Mike began by working in the family's company, but soon after it went down and he began a career as a musician. Mike's professional career in music began in the 1960s when he co-founded the Beach Boys Band with his cousins Brian, Dennis, and Carl Wilson, and their mutual friend Al Jardine, as their name suggests being influenced by sun, sand, and surf, of which there is plenty in Southern California. Members of the band are still active today. Throughout his career, which now spans more than five decades, Mike and the Beach Boys have released 29 studio albums seven live albums and 50 compilation albums, many of which have achieved platinum or gold certification. The band's first album was released in 1962 entitled Surf and Safari, entering the charts at the number 32 on the Billboard 200. The following year, Mike's net worth increased by a large margin thanks to the success of their second album, Surfin' USA, reaching number two on the Billboard 200 chart and making it to gold certification. After the second album, the band became more and more popular, and by the end of the 1960s, they had released several more albums which had sold more than 500,000 copies, including Little Deuce Coop in 63 and Pet Sounds in 1966. During the 1970s, the band's popularity declined somewhat due to their experimenting with different music genres and Brian Wilson's only intermittent involvement through health problems. But two albums stood out. Holland in 1973 and 15 Big Ones in 1976. The 1980s didn't change a great deal for the band, but bringing only one album into the spotlight, 1989's Still Cruisin', which reached platinum certification, but in 1988 the single Kokomo, co-written by Mike for the film Cocktail, reached number one on the Billboard chart. Mike also released his only solo album in 1981, Looking Back With Love. After several years without success, in 1996, the Beach Boys went into hiatus, releasing their last studio album entitled Stars and Stripes, Volume 1. However, in 2012, they returned to the studio, recording That's Why God Made Radio, which peaked at number three on the Billboard 200 chart. Acknowledging his successful career in the music industry, Mike Love, with the other Beach Boys, was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1988. Besides that, he is also the recipient of the 2014 Society of Singers Lifetime Achievement Award. To speak of Mike's love's personal life, he was married five times, the fifth being to Jacqueline Peason in 1994, with whom he has two children, plus six from previous marriages, and one out of wedlock. He is a vegetarian, and he is also known as a teacher of transcendental meditation. In his spare time, Mike devotes to charity work as he has established the Love Foundation, donating over $100,000 to the American Red Cross, amongst others. Thanks to his generosity, Mike was rewarded with the City Year's 7th Generation Award in 2013. Mike and Jacqueline currently live in the Lake Tahoe area on the California border with Nevada.